As a defense, there may be nothing more discouraging than knowing it's a run, but despite your best efforts, you just can't stop it. When thinking of San Francisco, you probably think Christian McCaffrey is that back. But to me, the player that comes to mind is Jordan Mason. He actually averaged more yards per carry with 6 compared to Christian McCaffrey's 5.4, despite Mason routinely facing heavy box looks. In this video, I want to break down 49ers beast mode Jordan Mason and how his vision, aggression, and durability, to name a few, make him an ideal number 2 behind Christian McCaffrey. Coming in at 5'11 and weighing 225 pounds, you expect Jordan Mason to have an aggressive running style style, and you're not disappointed when you watch the film. On this play for instance, the Cowboys are doing everything they can to stop this run. They have 5 defensive linemen as well as 3 backers in the box. While many of these 4 or 5 yard plays probably won't make it in many people's highlight reel, I do think it sets them up later on in the game. These are body shots really weakening the defense that leads to those explosives later on in the game. On this play though, I want to focus not on Mason's ability just to punch someone in the face, but how his awareness and vision tie together with his agility on this play. When you watch this play, you can see Micah Parsons pre-snap coming on the blitz. Mason also notices this, and with Parsons basically untouched, he broke his tackle as well as one more before finally being brought down. One of the most important things in Kyle Shanahan's outside zone scheme for running backs is their ability to put their foot in the ground and explode through gaps. Here, you can see how beneficial that philosophy is, especially when you're carrying 225 pounds. Mason is not going to be brought down by any arm tackle, especially a lazy one like that, and then he's also going to fall forward for an additional couple yards each time. But a back that just shoots up the field isn't going to be effective in the NFL. They also have to demonstrate the ability to show off great vision, especially in tight spaces. Here, Mason shows off the blend you like to see out of a running back. He's not too eager to get out of the backfield, he's patient. And then once he sees that gap start forming behind this pulling guard, he shoots it as hard as he can and that's why he picks up a pretty massive gain when it looks like it's dead in the backfield. In a similar way on this play, Mason does a great job of identifying the defensive tackle in the gap that he was supposed to run through. So he has to cut it all the way back, but he does it with aggression. And you can see how that aggression carries not just Micah Parsons, but this entire pile 5 or 6 yards. The biggest reason why I think Mason needs to be San Francisco's running back 2 this year and should really be their goal line back is regardless of the situation he's put in, he seemingly is able to pick up at least a couple yards. On this play for instance, facing a Cowboys defense that knows he's coming at them, here he's able to evade a defensive lineman that blew up this play and turn a loss into an 8 yard gain. And it's really hard to hate Mason when he finishes every single run like this. And while Mason isn't a 4-4 back, he has plenty of speed to exploit defense's weaknesses when they're not accounting for him. And while so far I've really highlighted points of Mason's game that make him effective at goal line back and his change of pace back for Christian McCaffrey, here you can also see he offers flexibility as a receiver. But maybe the most important part for a running back to Jordan Mason has remained available where other San Francisco running backs like Elijah Mitchell have it. And that's the biggest reason going into this season, I believe he's going to stand out and eventually become the number 2 running back for San Francisco. And if Kyle Shanahan utilized a rotation between CMC and Mason, that would be a 1-2 punch that would really be difficult for a defense to stop. You have really the bulldozer and Mason, and then the stat back type and Christian McCaffrey. That combo is extremely hard to adjust to every single time a new back comes in. But ultimately, these are just my thoughts on Jordan Mason, and I'd like to hear your thoughts down below. It would also mean a ton if you liked and subscribed, and as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.